Hello guys, it's Dale here and today I would like to talk about a trading idea on the New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar, but uh, before that I would like to show you a new feature that I found on the Forex Factory website. I think it's pretty useful and that it could help you in your trading. That new feature appeared, I think they started that today. In here, that's it. And if you click it, this is an alert system which will uh, give you an alert before uh, macro news and when the macro news is released. So you can set it up in here. You can also set browser and email notification. Pretty cool, right? You just need to click it like this to enable it, then click it again and there you can edit it. You can also unsubscribe from this event. So yeah, I think that's a pretty useful thing. And let's now have a look at the New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar chart. So, what you see before you is a 30 minute chart of the New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. And right there, this is my flexible volume profile indicator. That's the volume profile indicator, which you can move around like this, look into specific areas in the chart. And today, we are going to look into this area mostly because there is a volume profile setup that I like to trade. That volume profile setup is called the volume accumulation setup. And it's called like that because there were heavy volumes accumulated in here in this rotation that got followed by this strong sell off yesterday. This is what you want to see when you are trading that volume accumulation setup, right? You want to see heavy volumes followed by a trend. You want to see those heavy volumes created in a rotation like in this case. And in here it means that sellers were building up their shorts in this rotation and then those sellers pushed the price downwards from this rotation into this downtrend, right? So now we know that there were strong sellers in here and when the price makes it back to this heavy volume area, which is starting in here, this is where I printed that resistance line at 85.60, those sellers from this area should defend this zone and they should push the price downwards from there again. The reason is that they should protect their short positions which they placed in here and also this is heavy liquidity zone which they used before and which they may use again to enter some more to their shorts and then push the price downwards from there again. Right, so that's the logic behind the volume accumulation setup which has formed there yesterday. Now there's also one thing that I would like to show you and that's the first deviation of a view up. That's the gray line in here and as the price is going downwards and the volumes are being shifted downwards, this line is also moving slowly downwards and those first deviations, those gray lines, this one and also this one, tend to work as a strong support and resistance zones. Like for example in this case, you see how the price reacted to that gray line. Right, so when the price makes it back to our resistance in here, then if this gray line, if this first deviation is somewhere around our resistance zone, somewhere around this area, then it will add to the strength of our resistance zone because that's basically another trading signal, right? So uh, this could also strengthen our level as the first deviation is currently pretty close to it. So yeah, that's another thing that I like about that resistance at 85.60. But uh, the main reason behind this resistance is still uh, the volume accumulation setup based on the volume profile, right? And by the way, if you move the profile like this to show you volumes throughout the whole week, the current whole week, which is like this, Monday, Tuesday, today is Wednesday, then you can see that 
those are the heaviest volumes throughout the whole week. You can also look at it like this to look into that whole area. So as you can see, this is pretty significant heavy volume area. And when there is a pullback, the price should react to it. All right, because heavy volume areas like these very often work as strong support or resistance zones. So yeah, that's what I like about that resistance at 85.60. I think it's pretty solid level to trade from. And now we just need to wait for a pullback and take it from there. So yeah, that's about that. That's about the trading idea on the New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. I hope you guys liked it. If you would like to learn more about trading with volume profile and if you would like to trade with me every day, then what I recommend is visiting my website. This is it, trader-dale.com. And the next best step is go to trading course and tools. So you click that, you scroll down a bit. And what I recommend is getting the Elite Pack. The Elite Pack is an educational pack that will teach you everything there is about trading with volume profile. And there is a video which you can watch that will show you everything that's included in the Elite Pack. In short, the Elite Pack includes a video course. It includes my day trading and swing trading levels that you'll be getting each day. It also includes volume profile indicators that I developed and also a couple of bonuses. Now, at the top of that, it also includes free tech support for Elite Pack members. And what that means is that our tech support team will set up NinjaTrader 8 platform for you with all my indicators. They'll load up my trading workspaces, they'll connect you to data feed, and they'll do it completely free of charge, as that's the part of the service that we provide to the Elite Pack members. All right, so that's about it. That's about the Elite Pack, and that's also about this video. I hope you guys liked it, I hope you found it useful and I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time in some next video or in our members area and until then happy trading!